Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I'm G and I'll be your host for today. In this episode, I'll be taking you through your drone camera settings. <laughs> to progress in drone aerial photography, it's best to step away from the automated settings and go for the manual ones to up your game. This will allow you to have more creative control over your camera and optimize your images. The most important setting we're gonna be controlling on our camera is the exposure. And there are three key points to it. We'll be going through the ISO, which is the camera's sensitivity to light. Next, the shutter speed, which is the quantity of light that will be hitting your sensor. And finally, the aperture or f-stops, which controls the amount of light that is let through. Let's jump into the ISO. This is the camera's sensitivity to light. The camera's sensor sensitivity to light can be increased and decreased. The higher the ISO, the more sensitive the camera's sensor is to light. The image will become lighter. For example, if you boost your ISO all the way up to 6400, you get a pretty light image. Something to note when you're using high ISOs, you can be subject to noise in your images. Noise appears as small grains of sand on your image. The lower the ISO, the less sensitive the sensor is and the darker the image will appear. For example, if you drag it all the way down to 100 ISO, the image is very dark. The ISO enables you to use higher shutter speeds or smaller f-stops, otherwise impossible. Now let's move on to shutter speed. Shutter speed controls the quantity of light reaching the sensor for a certain period of time. Shutter speed dictates the light and the motion you'll see in your image. The longer the shutter speed, the brighter the image will be and the blurrier it will become. For example, if you set your shutter speed at 1 60th of a second, the image will be brighter, but you may experience motion blur. However, if we boost it up to 100th of a second, you can see that the image becomes a lot darker. The faster the shutter speed, the less light will be let into the sensor and the darker the image will become. This will also mean you'll experience less motion blur. And finally, aperture or f-stops. Larger drones typically have the option to adjust your aperture. The aperture will determine the diameter the light must pass through. Aperture also dictates the depth of field you'll experience in your photos. The smaller the number, the wider the aperture. For example, if you choose a wide aperture of 1.7, you'll experience a shallow depth of field. However, the larger the number, the more narrow the aperture will be and the deeper the depth of field will become. By controlling the exposure, we're able to control the creativity of our photos. In addition, you can control the mood and tone of your photos by just adjusting your exposure. Thank you for watching today's video guys. I hope you have enjoyed learning about the camera settings on your drone. If you found this helpful, give it a like, give it a share and even subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video.